Welcome to the latest episode of MCU Wars. I'm Cody Miller, co-founder of EEWeb. Today we're meeting with Ritesh Tiagi, Senior Director of Microcontroller Products at Renesis, and Chris Anderson, Design Engineer Consultant. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to discuss two products, the 32-bit RX100 by Renesis and the 32-bit Cortex-M3-based STM32L1 microcontrollers. We picked these two devices because of the increased demand for 32-bit microcontrollers, especially in the medical, industrial, and consumer device markets. Ritesh, what can you tell us about the RX100 microcontroller family? Uh, thanks, Cody, for having me here on your uh, MCU debate forum. Uh, the RX100 series is a part of RX family uh, that we have launched in 2007, eight time frame. Uh, we have RX600, which is very high performance uh, series, and then RX200, which is a low cost version of uh, RX600. Recently, uh, a couple months back, we have introduced in the marketplace the RX100 family, which has the same CPU core as we have, uh, which we have on RX200 or 600. Uh, we, the RX100 has 1.56 DMIPS per megahertz CPU performance, but most importantly, uh, we have developed RX100, uh, keeping in mind the low power battery operated application. So RX uh, run at a very, very low power, uh, both in the active mode and as well as in the standby mode. It has a bunch of peripheral, which are uh, really nicely packed in a, in a smaller package. And it has a, a lot of uh, communication interfaces, uh, A2Ds, uh, of course, uh, a lot of timers, specialized motor control timers, and is available in different packages uh, from 40 pin to 64 pin. The memory ranges from uh, as low as 8 kilobyte to 128 kilobyte onboard flash with additional data flash that can be used as a E squared PRI emulation. So, overall, uh, this is a lowest cost, lowest power 32 uh, bit family available in the marketplace today. Chris, I know you're familiar with the STM32L microcontroller family. How does it compare? So the STM32L1 is based on a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M3, uh, has multiple low power modes. There are multiple lines within the series. You can get up to 384K of flash and up to 48K of SRAM, uh, as well as up to 12K of EEPROM. And uh, it comes in multiple different packages, as small as a wafer level chip scale package. You get up to 114 IOs, all of your standard communication interfaces, uh, up to 40 12 bit DACs, or excuse me, up to 40 12 bit ADCs, and up to two 12 bit DACs. Uh, there's also an integrated DMA controller as well as a, an integrated LCD driver 